Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about uh, intuition, gut feelings, those things that you don't necessarily completely consciously understand, but they prompt you to do stuff, uh, or they prompt you to, to feel things and think things. You know, that that's where I want to focus on today, because um, after a, an interesting year of 2016, and after hearing so many complaints come out at large, uh, intuition, gut feeling seems to be one of those things that kind of goes hand in hand with what we talked about end of last week, which was post-truth. And um, so as a result, you know, that's where I kind of want to look at today. And I'm going to go back a little bit to when I was still in management. And ultimately, there was a time when I was really interested because I personally didn't get much in the way of gut feelings. I was always very much someone that would look for evidence and I'd run with it. Um, and to an extent that's still fairly true of today, but there were a lot of managers that I worked with who were great managers, they always achieved really good results, um, and they would go with their gut an awful lot more. Even if there wasn't really much supporting evidence, they'd go with their gut and they would take, they would take account, you know, they'd be accountable for what they did, they would take responsibility, but they still achieved an awful lot, they still did really well. And uh, this confused me a little bit because I was like, well, I'm always achieving quite highly because I, I can look at the information, I can look at the timings on things, I can see how things are slotting together and therefore I can make it work. But these people who were going with their gut, um, yes, they, they were proven wrong more often than someone like myself who was just going off the numbers and, and making it work that way. But they still did very well, you know, they didn't get fired for underperforming or anything like that, they were still keeping up. And, uh, you know, this confused me. And it was something that I tried to pay attention to and see, you know, whether or not it was just it was genuinely them going with their gut, or whether or not it was something that they were, they were in other ways picking up. And uh, my my thought process with that kind of led me to um, find a book by the journalist uh, Malcolm Gladwell, I believe, uh, called Blink: The Power of Thinking Without Thinking. And in his book, he goes through um, the uh, the kind of this is how it works well, this is how it, it falls down and works badly and doesn't always work, and then kind of a bit more on uh, on kind of what it is. Um, and then that snap judgment in those gut feelings. And, you know, for the most part, it seems to just be that the, those gut feelings, snap judgments, things like that, they seem to be your uh, brain moving faster than your conscious mind uh, and just giving it an inkling, just giving it a nudge in the right direction and letting the rest unfold. But it obviously can be, because it's all in your head and it's all focused within what's going on in your head, it's all um, easily twisted by things like your perception of a situation or um, preconceived notions, investment bias and other biases that you may have and stuff like that. Uh, and um, so, you know, looking at this now as a coach, I'm finding that it's, it's really interesting because where before I would always see it as a jumping off point, now I'm actually finding that it's something that people need to find and clarify first before they can even use it as a jumping off point. I'll sit down with a client and I'll have a discussion with them and I'll be asking questions and to begin with they will always be rationalising what they're doing. They'll always be um, giving reasons or suggesting that they can or can't do things, you know, throwing up obstacles that they've either put in place themselves or that have been put in place. Um, and they uh, they kind of push on with those kind of, of rationalizations and, and kind of long drawn out thought processes. And uh, yeah, after kind of breaking those down and questioning them on it and kind of seeing how it goes, there have been, you know, there usually are a a few moments where they kind of suddenly um, something snaps, something kind of goes pop in their head, and they suddenly understand a feeling that they've had for a while. You know, they may their their gut feeling may be that something needs to change, but then it might be that they focused on the wrong thing because of what's most apparent to them. You know, and and stuff like that. And so, it's like intuition, that gut feeling, that that snap judgment, that is a good jumping off point. But for it to be the most successful. You need to clarify it first to make sure you're understanding the right thing. Uh, you know that you're you're really getting the, the the feeling based on you know what you think you're getting it on, and um, or not as the case may be. 
And then the other thing is that it's a good jumping off point. It's a place to be inspired to action, a place to be inspired to uh, progress even. And, you know, because if we take the mountain, you know, you're, you're going to be trekking up it. You're going to be looking for your way up. You've got that, uh, but you don't really plan out your route. You don't really think about it. You just go with that gut feeling that you need to be at the top of the mountain. And you just go then there's a good chance that if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know what direction you're going in and things like that, you may just skirt the round, around the bottom, always looking for a way up and never finding one. Excuse me. And so, you know, having that intuition, that, intuition, that need to change, that, that thing that, that develops, uh, that inspires you to, to want to do a thing, you know, it's incredibly valuable. It's so, so useful but it has its limits and it ha and those limits are the things that really need to be kind of um, paid attention to early on because once you get that that feeling once you get that feeling to go you need to ask those questions about what you're actually feeling what it's pertaining to and then after that you need to look at where you can take that where you're going to push it where it's you're going to let it lead you and you know the the number of people who will use those snap judgments and they will do so well with them, you know, um, it, it stands out. And so, you know, that's all I really have to say on this. And obviously it's a, it's a big topic. It's, it's one that could be um, jumped into an awful lot more in a, a much more scientific way. But it's one of these things that people need to take account of because, you know, it does seem to go to one degree or another hand in hand with some of this post-truth stuff. You know, if it feels right to you, then you just believe it, then you just go with it and you don't question. You know, once you have that gut feeling, it should be the cue to m ask questions, to start thinking about your route to take with that that compulsion. Um, but anyway, tell me what you guys think. What have your experiences been with gut feelings? Have they served you well? Have they served you terribly? Um, do you just not really get them like myself and, and tend not to to really get those sudden feelings to do a thing you know um i'd love to hear what you guys have to say because i said it was something that really confused me for a long time seeing people do really well off seemingly nothing apart from a, an instinct or a feeling and um you know seeing seeing how different people deal with it seeing how different people work with it is really really interesting to me um so i'd be fascinated to to read what you guys have to say but otherwise if you found this at all interesting if you found if you think that someone might find it useful to hear what i've just said then please like and share this video and otherwise please subscribe for more and i will see you guys in the video tomorrow take care